hello everyone welcome you all so in this video we are going to derive the relationship between temperature and volume and temperature and pressure in case of adiabatic process so this is the important relation we are going to use in our uh, thermal engineering also when you study auto cycle diesel cycle carnot cycle we use this uh, relation okay so now as we know from the adiabatic process we have already discussed about the adiabatic process and we have derived the relation for the law pv per gamma is equals to constant and work done in case of adiabatic process also we have seen so now what is adiabatic process is follows the law pv power of gamma is equals to constant and there is no heat transfer q is zero okay so now pv power gamma is equals to constant see so now if i consider two state one to two so i can write p1 v1 ki power of gamma is equals to constant c and state 2 p2 v2 ki power of gamma which is equals to constant c so from this i can write p1 v1 ki power of gamma which is equals to p2 v2 ki power of gamma which is equals to c constant okay so now from here if i take p1 that side if i take p1 that side and bring v2 this side what will become this p2 divided by p1 which is equals to this v1 ki power of gamma as it is divided by this v2 okay ki power of this gamma so i can write p2 by p1 equals to v1 by v2 ki power of gamma so this is one of the relation between pressure and volume okay so now consider from the ideal gas equation what i get pv is equals to rt okay from here i can write p is equals to rt by v okay if i substitute this p here so what i get in the e here oh, r t by v and into v ki power of gamma which is equals to c constant so here r is constant if i take r the side also it will become in the denominator which also a constant so i can write this t and i am taking v in the denominator in the numerator it will become v ki power of gamma and this minus 1 which is equals to constant c okay this here power is 1 so i am taking this one in the numerator will become minus 1 this 1 by a power n is equals to a ki power of minus n okay now here bases are same and power i have added power so this is the relation pv ki power of gamma minus 1 is equals to constant so from this i can write t1 v1 ki power of gamma minus 1 equals to t2 v2 ki power of gamma minus 1 which is equals to constant so now again if i rearrange the term if i take t1 that side and i bring v2 here what i get t2 by t1 equals to this v1 divided by v2 whole to the power of gamma minus 1 so this is the another relation between temperature and volume okay so now if i consider again this ideal gas equation pv is equals to rt from here i have written p now i'm taking v which is equals to rt by p okay if i substitute v again here what i get this p as it is into this v i can write rt by p whole to the power of gamma which is equals to constant okay instead of v i have written this rt by p so now this power if i take p this r is constant so again r k power of constant uh, gamma is also constant if i take this side also it will be again constant so what i left out this t k power of gamma divided by p k power of gamma which is equals to constant c so now what i will do i will take this p in the denominator so again this law okay so i have with here one if i take in the numerator uh, sorry in the denominator what i get t k power of gamma i can write gamma minus one okay now plus one here in, in the denominator it will become minus one okay <coughs> so now which is equals to c constant so i can write from this again this relation t1 ki power of gamma divided by p1 ki power of gamma minus 1 which is equals to t2 ki power of gamma divided by p2 ki power of gamma minus 1 okay now if, if i take cross multiply if i take this term here and this term here what i get this t2 ki power of gamma divided by i am taking t1 in the denominator 
p1 ki power of gamma which is equals to now i am taking this p1 in the uh, numerator what i get p1 ki power of gamma minus 1 divided by p2 ki power of gamma minus 1 okay now i think no this here p2 will come in the numerator this p1 will come in the denominator okay now if i rearrange term this p2 here and this t1 here okay so now t2 by t1 equals to p2 by p1 now here i can write t2 by t1 whole to the power of gamma which is equals to p2 by p1 whole to the power of gamma minus 1 okay if i take gamma that side it will become t2 by t1 equals to p2 by p1 whole to the power of gamma minus 1 by gamma so this is another relation in terms of temperature and pressure in case of adiabatic process thank you